Let us now obtain the sunrise and sunset angles. I have here the local centric coordinate system and the earth centric coordinate system. And I have also written down the insulation equation. L cos theta z is the normal incidence insulation at a horizontal flat plate located at uh, a point uh, on this latitude phi. At sunset and sunrise, this theta z will be 90 degrees. What it basically means is that the insulation line will be just along the horizon plane. At, sun, at sunset, it will be just along the horizon plane and it will start to rise above the horizon plane. And at sunset, it will be along the horizon plane and start to go below the horizon plane. Therefore, at sunset or sunrise, we have theta z, the zenith angle equal to pi by 2, 90 degrees. This will be 90 degrees because the insulation line is along the horizon plane. And omega, the hour angle is the angle of interest to us. The hour angle we will call it as omega SR, our angle at sunrise and modulus of the hour angle at sunset. So you see that when omega is equal to zero, the projection of the insulation line will be along the meridional plane. That would be considered as noon for that particular meridian. Our angle onto the east of the meridian will be positive, our angle to the west of the meridian is considered negative. So sunrise is on this quadrant on uh, onto the uh, east side of the meridional axis and therefore sunrise angle is considered positive and the sunset is to the west of the meridional axis and omega ss is considered as negative but modulus of the sunset angle and the hour angle at sunrise will be the same. Applying cos theta z is equal to 0 at sunrise and sunset. So you will say cos delta cos omega sr that is sunrise angle and cos phi plus sin delta sin phi is equal to 0 because cos theta z is 0, theta z being pi by 2. And from here you can get cos omega at sunrise which is cos inverse of minus tan delta tan phi. So this is obtainable just directly from this step. So you take sin delta sin phi onto this side and then uh, cos omega sr is minus tan delta tan phi and omega sr will be cos inverse of minus tan delta tan phi. And the sunset angle is nothing but minus sunrise angle because it is on the west side of the meridional axis. So these two angles, our angles, our angle sunrise, our angle sunset are given by this relationship entirely dependent on the declination and the latitude at, of the place. So now let us summarize the daily energy incident on a horizontal flat plate. So we know now H0 is the daily incident energy and this is given by this relationship 24k LSC the solar constant by pi into cos phi cos delta sin omega sr plus omega sr sin phi sin delta. And this is expressed in the units kilowatt hour per meter square per day where k is 1 plus 0 0.033 plus cos 360 n by 365 and n is the day number 1 for January 1st 365 for December 31st. So now this k is an expression which is uh, obtained empirically 
to uh, obtain the insulation value at a on a given day and LSE is the solar constant mean solar constant which is 1.37 kilowatt per meter square omega SR is the sun rise hour angle which we saw just now and uh, uh, this is given by cos inverse of minus tan phi tan delta again in terms of latitude and declination only expressed in radians phi is the latitude and delta is the declination both of these can be in radians or degrees now this can be considered as the model for obtaining the energy incident on a horizontal flat plate without having considered the effects of atmosphere till now we have not considered atmospheric effects we will shortly discuss that also but right now this value is without any atmosphere uh, coming into the picture to put it in a block algorithmic form let us say we need two important inputs one is latitude phi and the other one is day number n that is we need the day number n and the latitude phi remaining everything else is uh, determinable can be calculated uh, using the equations that we just now discussed so the day from the day number we can get delta declination and this constant k using this relationship so knowing phi as one of the inputs these three will be given to the model for estimating the energy and you will get h naught in kilowatt hours per meter square per day and this whole block algorithmically can be considered as the energy determining module for a horizontal flat plate. 